brilliant. Okay, let me get everything back on again. Get my video on. Video's on. Yeah, so I'm real. I'm a real person. Right, so again, developing this particular strategy on a shorter time frame on the ES. We, we've got a similar window open uh, using uh, tick charts, Renko, uh, as well. We're just trialing uh, a, particular, a shorter term uh, strategy. Seems to be working okay so far, even on this uh, bearish um, pullback we've had on that pullback on that big move down, we've had pullbacks into a wave four zone and then been able to trade the fifth wave. Uh, and it's just as good for, um, for bonds as well. We can see right now, bonds are testing uh, in this uh, pullback zone and we're looking for the short. Uh, and again, when we're looking at these entries, whether it's, it doesn't matter what it is, Forex, stocks, five minute, daily, whatever, you've got to allow this to to work its magic, okay? The wave four has found resistance. We've had an attempt to move out. That's failed and it's come back, but it's finding a higher resistance level here. So what you need to be doing is looking at an entry below there. So this was a rejection of those lows for now, okay? So that's the sort of entry you should be looking at. Don't be too quick, especially on a slow day like this on a five minute time frame. Don't be too quick to get in. A good entry would have been outside the 6-4 moving average low, okay? But your trading stock would have been at the 6-4 moving average high. So we'd have taken a little bit of profit. Uh, you got the first attempt. It didn't quite work out. But now you've got a more sensible entry for a long ago at this uh, target zone here. So... Just wanted to let you know that we are working on some shorter time frame strategies just to make sure that they work and anything else that we need to add in. Now, has anybody got any questions on there um, on a particular platform or more importantly about the strategy? Do you want me to look at some uh, tickers that you're looking at, whether it's stocks, futures, uh, that sort of thing, or Forex? Does anybody want me to look at anything, whether it's, it doesn't matter whether it's oil, any stocks, Euro CAD, okay, so, let me duplicate in a new tab, let's see if we've got Euro CAD on here, let me type it in. It's not on here, it'll be on another platform. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so let's go out to the daily first, see what, we're, see what we're doing longer term, and then we can come back and take a look further. Okay, so we need to find a low. Wow, okay, this has been quite a big move. I'm just gonna alter the data series. I wanna look back a little further to see if this was the low. Indeed it was. Wow, okay, so it, uh, it had a really nice pullback. This support level was fantastic on the daily. Um, and then hit the target zone, pulled back, and now we're even, we're through that. Grant, what sort of time frame do you um, trade your OCAD on?
Is that 60 minute? Is that supposed to be one hour, yeah? 60 minute. Yeah. Okay, I want to take this back quite a few days, see where we are with it. The downside with this, I need at least 40 days. Let's do its magic and let's, we've got to look for some lows at the moment. So we had that low there and then we've gone sideways. So did you trade this long here after this pullback? Because I've gone from the lows on the 60 minute. Uh, we had a leisurely pullback into this wave four zone and then it's pretty much gone. Let me get rid of these. Um, no, I'm gonna leave them on actually. So we've had this move. So what I would like to do is this is quite a range bound period here. Then we've hit the fifth wave. So I'm just going to isolate the bar count here a second and see where we are because in reality now we've had that move up to the wave five. So where did it start? Have we, are we in a fresh trend is the question I'm going to ask myself. Uh, let me get rid of these on here for now. So you can see it a little easier. Okay, so let's go back. I've got to see where we are after this. Yeah. Okay, so remember before, this was the original um, fifth wave that we looked at from way back, okay? Uh, but now I wanted to isolate a little bit closer because we did have that big move after quite a sort of long term for a 60 minute time frame anyway, sideways movement. So that was the move. We've had this wave four pullback and this is where we are right now. So there is potential for this to go higher. Um, I don't think I would trade it so much off the 60 minute here, um, Grant, because the risk to reward down to this wave, I mean, you should have been in already. Uh, are you long already? Because <laughs> you should have been in aggressive on this one, really. Um, but your target is 15620. Is that the sort of target you're in at the moment? Um, the problem is at the moment, Grant, if you went in now and you put your stop loss below the wave four, you've got no risk to reward to the target. You're a bit late to the party. Um, on the 15 minute, again, you're going to be quite late to the party at the moment. You can see that better on the 15 minute, this wave four pullback and see where it is. So we have, we've gone sideways pretty much now. So we've gone from 60 to 15. We're still in that zone. We've, we've, we've gone up, but we've got, yeah, you've got to always remember that this wave three acts as resistance. You've not got a great deal of risk to reward to that target zone. I would wait to see if it comes back down into this zone and look for another entry. Yeah. I think what it might do, it's going sideways at the moment, but it might test this wave three high and go back down. All this pivot level here. But it needs to come back into this zone for another go. Okay, so let's have a look at Bidu. No problem. Bidu. Okay, let's have a look. On the daily. Guido on the daily. Yeah, big pullback at the moment. I got stopped out of a trade on here. I got in too early, I think. This pullback is quite deep now. 
yeah you see how the way it's just come way too deep now this really really needs to find support before we go past this last chance saloon here if it if we close below this red zone the it's a very low probability that's going to go on and make a new fifth wave at this 290 uh, target level okay so it's basically at its last chance saloon but also we can see we are at a uh, previous support level let's get that in there so that's that's pretty much where we are right now that needs to hold and to be honest all it will take is for the market to uh, consolidate where they are start to move up and i think bidder will move with the markets because we've now got the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone let's just measure the um we're going to go for the highest point on the wave three The 535 oscillator. We're going to the highest point in the wave three, not this low point here, the highest point in the wave three, remember. We're going to go to the zero points and then back up. Yeah, it, that might be the catalyst to, for, you know, for the long. If we can consolidate this red zone now and go no lower, then, you know, that. The good earnings could be the catalyst for that to move higher into that 290 level. Let me just put this uh, on. Got it loaded up in my templates. Okay. So as we can see, the wave four pullback did touch quite slightly out of the 140, but this is good. If this can hold right now, I would be looking for a long next week i think it needs to consolidate first um so we've got to it's got to move away from here and then look for an entry so don't be too quick just because it's had one green day it might be a one it wonder so that's how i see bido at the moment okay is anybody here um, for the new multi charts platform? Just let me know and I'll, I'll have a quick tour of that. But if not, I won't bring it over. You're welcome, Guido. Where are you from, Guido? Italy, ah, well, I'm in sunny Spain, not far away. Which platform do you use? Is it Ninja Trader or TradeStation? NT8, yeah, this one. Is it just stocks you trade? Sorry guys, it's been a long day. It's nearly 8 p.m. here. Okay, so that's, we've done a bit of um, futures in the beginning. Yeah, futures, uh, you know, at the moment, everything's gone down, which is not bad. I did, we, I was looking at oil earlier actually. The oil's breaking there now on the five minute, but I actually I want to look at the 60 minute. Um, I'm going to leave these on because we're just looking at a strategy. So let me just get the data series changed. In 40 days. Quite, it's quite corrective at the moment. We've had this high in oil, and then we've had this ABC correction, and, and it's done that because it's broken previous wave ones, so it's sticking to the Elliott wave rules, okay? Um, so this is where we are with oil on the 60 minute at the moment. 
let's just see where we are from this B pivot. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a messy chart at the moment. I don't think I'd be trading it off uh, off the 60, definitely not. Let's have a look like on the 15. Usually smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, if you wish, you need to be short oil, you should have been short oil already. Again, the wave four pullback. And that was at the highs of the day today. And now it's coming back to resume to the normal trend. But we've got this previous day's close and low of yesterday to get through. It's done it today already. If the momentum's there, it will go. We've got stochastic crossed over and the wave four as well. Look pretty good. Anybody trade oil in here? One thing that I, I would I would look at as well is if you just especially not stocks, but when you trade in futures, get those daily highs and lows and the pivot points on the previous day's highs, lows and, and uh, closes and opens because you will find that there's a lot of correlation between those and decision points uh, within, and especially when we make uh, sort of wait for highs and lows and things like that. So do have a look at that. And gold's going down one way at the moment. See that again on the 15 minutes, we did have that spike up into the zone now you know to be honest those sh short traders on gold they should have been in already on this really um the entry would have for me would have been quite aggressive coming out of here about 1331 um, and then obviously we're down here right now this this is the daily low, so it's got to get through there, but look where the pivot point is. It's in the wave five target level. So, you know, there's a good target there for this. Um, as the US markets come to a close, this could go down and hit the target level without a doubt. Um, but that entry, too late too late now, but that was an entry. This is 15 minute on, uh, on gold there, sorry. Does anybody want me to look at anything else? It can be stocks, uh, currency pair, futures, doesn't really matter. If you've got a specific question, again, this is these, these monthly webinars designed to support you, the users. So if you've got a question on a particular platform that you're using, whether it's NinjaTrader, TradeStation, Tinklesswim, or MultiCharts, ask those questions. The, these sessions, uh, I, you know, I don't, charges them or anything. it's there to help you. I want you to utilize this indicator suite uh, to the to the best opportunity that you can. This this strategy I've been using for over a decade and it works, but it takes some time to learn and I'm here for you guys every month so you can ask questions. Okay, so please fire away. If anybody's on the trial, uh, sorry trial if anybody's come in for the demonstration today and hasn't got the platform, let me know in the chat uh, and I will be able to offer you some discount during this live session only. There'll be 20% discount. So just let me know in the chat and I will uh, get it sorted out for you and let me know which platform. Also guys, while people are typing, we are going to be starting an affiliate scheme for this software. So, and that can be for individuals or businesses, as long as you know, whether you know people uh, and there's 25% commission for the affiliate scheme. So this, this will be launched probably at the end of February, beginning of March. Uh, you, there's a sign up page, there's banners, there'll be email scripts, even hashtags to use. Uh, so what what I know is that this works. We, I've had some great feedback from people and it's you telling other people um, that will make this particular indicator suite um, more readily available to lots more people. So we are starting that affiliate scheme um, and hopefully 
Uh, it doesn't matter if you're an individual and you just know a few people you want to email it to, 25% uh, commission on $399, that you know, it can uh, add up quite a long way. So watch out for that. Okay, so I want to have a look. Let me bring Ninja Trader off for a minute. And let me bring over TradeStation. I'm still on TradeStation. What I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to, I'm going to pull up the scan results and look at a, a couple of longs on the, um, on the scanner for day, for the day trading, uh, for, on the daily time frame. sorry. Right, let me just load it up. I just want to show you where we are with some of these because some of, some of them pull back quite deep uh, and we've got to find that support level at the moment. And this is what we're waiting for. So let me, so yeah. So those that haven't got uh, this membership, it's only $97 a year. Um, in the members area, potential long trades every day. We put the longs and the shorts on weekly, sit, uh, daily and six minute time frame, And you just click on and download the spreadsheet. And that's, it's as simple as that. And they've got all of those in there. So let's look at to, for the today's scans. I'll just move that out of the way. Whoops. I just wanted to look at some and, and see where they are. So, um, so this is what it looks like each day to see all those potential longs and that'll change again today. Uh, after the session today, the new scans will go out. So I'm just going to pull that to one side. Um, we're just going to have a look at a few um, and see where they are in respect to this software indicator suite. Uh, so let's zoom out. Let's remember again, each platform has its own little nuances. <laughs> um, operates slightly different. Right, so as we can see here, this is setting up very well, okay, on FCX on the daily. So why I've isolated the bar count, and I get a lot of these questions sometimes. This is not a trend down here. This is sideways action. That's a trend, okay? That's a pullback. And that's where we need our zone. Where did the trend start? At this low, okay? It's as simple as that. So that's, in theory zoom out because it's different there we go okay so we've got the one the two the three the four and we've got a bullish engulfing today okay so we just want to check on the oscillator pullback okay it's got to be between 90 and 140 percent which it is uh, you should be used to measuring it by now. Uh, and then the stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone. So that, again, from the scanner, this came out today. It doesn't mean that it's... Um, uh, Grant, you have to set the counts yourself. Yeah, you have to isolate the bar count. Um, because let's face it, it's obvious that this is sideways action. We don't want to count that because that is not the trend. So what we've got to do is, is identify when it breaks out of here, it's a trend. It's pulled back. It's, it's come up on the scanner for the stock, okay? So then you've just got to decide, right, sideways action, trend. That's the low, isolate the bar count, and then it does it all for you, okay? The, it works, the, 
the Guido doesn't quite understand the strat the the strategy the the membership is for scan results that I do from a third party scanner. Um, it's too expensive for me to develop that scanner for each one of the four platforms because it's different data sets, uh, different coding, it's just horrendous. So all I've done is decided to charge $97 a year and you get daily um, updates from the scanner and there's literally hundreds of potential trading opportunities. I've just gone to the first one there that came in today's scan. Uh, it's The scan is filtered to give you those where the oscillators pull back and the stochastics crossed over. So that's a great starting point. Then we can see we've isolated the bar count at these lows here. We've had the wave four pullback. We've got the low today, but that's a bullish engulfing. So that's a good start, but we're still not ready to enter this trade yet. We need a confirmation day tomorrow and then look for an entry, okay? Um, so let's have a look at Caterpillar. I've, been, I've mentioned that actually the day. So I need to zoom out. So I need to find a low. Whoa, okay. Sideways, low. Okay. So can you see what I mean by sideways action here, Grant? Yeah, that's not a trend. That's the trend, that's the pullback. So that's where we are right now, okay? So when you're going to isolate these, don't go all the way down here. If I did a wave count down here, it'd probably be the same anyway. Get rid of this sideways action because this is a daily time frame. This is weeks and weeks and weeks of going nowhere. And then we've got a trend and then it's pulled back. So let's zoom in. Move that along. Oh, this is looking better actually. I like this better. So again, this was on the scan results this morning. It's very, very important for those that have the scanner signals membership. Tomorrow, this will not be on the uh, results because the stochastics moved out of the oversold zone, but it's still a good trade. The scanner gives you them early when it's crossing over in the oversold zone, when the stock has, when the 535 oscillators pull back between 90 and 140. So it's giving you them early. So today we've had a nice green bar. We then need to start to move up a little bit before we start to look for an entry here. We we've got that we've got that low, we've got the consolidation. Now we need to start to move higher but it will not come on the scan results tomorrow if it's outside of the oversold zone. But it's still a good trade. You just got to build your watch list every day from the scan results. So let's just look at a, a potential entry strategy here, shall we? If I can remember how to use the drawing tools on this. Um, got to find them first. There we go. So horizontal line. Right, so I'm going to consider this as a consolidation zone on the wave three. There was a bit of resistance for a few days there. So I don't want to be entering before that. Okay, so let's just put a line in and let's move it around. So we also got to consider the 6-4 moving average high for our conservative entry strategies there. That's very important, especially when we've had this big sell-off, we want to make sure that it's going. So we're a little bit far away yet from an entry for this. We need to start moving up above this sort of 160 level here. Once it gets to 160, and that could take three, three days. Okay, that it could, might not even be there at 160 until, because look at some of these daily moves here, the daily ranges down on this side can take quite a long time. But by that time, you'll see the 6-4 moving average has been moving down and we're starting to move back up and we'll be looking for an entry just above the $160, I would expect. I've not got a crystal ball, but at this moment in time, that wave 4 found support in the amber zone. There's an 80% probability it's going to make a new wave 5 high, depending on market conditions, of course. Um, but if things start to consolidate and turn around and turn back up again this week, 
there is going to be a hell of a lot of potential longs on the daily time frame. And this is where our scanner signals membership comes in. After these big pullbacks that you get two or three times a year, a lot of these stocks will pull back into these uh, probability zones or find support and you'll be looking for longs, okay? And then you've got to make hay while the sun shines. You've just got to, you've got to get in as many as you can that set up properly, that meet the criteria for the, um, the 535. So let's just remind ourselves on to how to do that again. Okay, so we go to the highest point on the wave three, which is about, which is there. We go to the zero point and then we come back. Okay. And as you can see, the oscillator pullback at the moment is between the 90 and the 140%. We've got stochastic crossing over. We found support in our amber zone. We've had the um, green bar today. We need some more confirmation tomorrow. And then once it starts to get above $60, we've got to really consider an entry. Does that make sense? That, that simple setup. I'm looking, at con, I'm looking at consolidation level on the left here. I'm making sure everything's stacking up the 535, the, the stochastic. Um, we've got good support there. And so we've just been looking for the entry. Okay, so yeah, so that I've gone through those couple of examples from the um, from the signals membership. It's only ninety seven dollars a year. It's to be honest, one trade and you're making money back. I know I got an email from somebody this morning who paid for it a couple of days ago, and he went on one of the shorts and he made a thousand dollars. So that ninety seven dollars pales into insignificance. No, I, I get the grant. I give you the list, so you get this every day. These are real scan results. I've just gone through two of those, and as you can see, they're quite easy to set up. What what happens is we've filtered out for the 535 oscillator pullback. We've filtered out for the stochastic crossing over. The you know the pullback zones. So we've done most of the work for you. You've just got to isolate the bar count and work out your own entry strategy. Really, um, not all of them set up. But, you know, 60, 70 percent are good. So this is raw data with a little bit of filtering. What I do each day, though, um, is I pick one as an example and I do a video. So you'll notice on the home page here. I do setup videos each day. So from the scan results, I'll do a quick video every morning. Just I'll pick one. And I'll go through how to set it up, where I'm going to enter, where my stop losses. So over time, you will watch those videos every day. You'll see the scan results and you'll start to understand the strategy more, uh, take advantage of those scan results uh, and start to, to build your portfolio of those swing trades uh, on the daily time frame, on the weekly or even the 60 minute time frame. OK, so I've done as much as I can without being there holding your hand. So I'm giving you some raw data with some filters. You've got a great indicator suite that I designed from my own strategy. Um, you know, if, if you want me to hold your hand, you've got to come into my trade room, okay? <laughs> so yeah, and then the videos each day, just to reiterate, and some, you know, I'll, I'll choose weeklies, I'll choose dailies, I'll choose 60 minutes, and I'll just keep changing them around uh, so you just get that. So I will drop the home page you can subscribe on the home from the home page if you've not already um, for the signal service there so Guido wanted me to go to the ninja trader version so let's just move that out of the way and let's go to ninja trader Let's hope I can ha answer your problem unless it's really difficult. Again, I've got so many platforms. So 
So Guido, you've got some questions on the NT8 version. Not so much about the Ninja Trader platform because I am not an expert. Um, again, what I've done is developed my strategy into, into an indicator suite and put it on four different platforms so far. So fire away with any questions. Hopefully I can answer them. Scout ES is really, really holding that support at the moment. Right, yeah, I, I, I've never used the radar or the market analyzer on Ninja Trader. Uh, and again, I can't, at this moment in time, my priority is the affiliate and to get the current users, and there's users coming on almost every day, uh, getting used to using this platforms, the, the, um, the strategies, doing these monthly webinars. Uh, so the, I, the, the easiest solution was, and I pay nearly $400 a month for the uh, data, so I can do those scans. Um, I can pull those scan results into one place and people from any platform can use those results. So that's the idea of that. Um, and you know, and it works. It works very well. To get that email this morning was amazing. Yeah, and the guy works full time and he trades at his at work. <laughs> Thank you. We are improving it all the time. The thing we're looking for next, uh, which will be in the second quarter this year, on the stochastic. We're looking for, let's go to a stock. Let's go for, um, oh, we can use Bido as an example here. Okay. So on the stochastic, let's go big here. One thing you will look for on a strong bullish trend are these false breakouts. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're, we're putting together, um, the, a false breakout indicator. So when it does pull back against that strong bullish trend, it's more likely to go back to it. Okay. And that's how, that's another part of my strategy that I use on a different software and I want to integrate it into here. So what it will probably look like, and there's an algorithm to build yet, but what it will look like is so we've had this first crossover, it's crossed over again, we'll have a little up, up arrow, it'll be in green. So then we've crossed over and it's crossed over again. So it'll be less, that'll be less than 30%. So there'll be another arrow. And the idea is, as long as we can get in those false breakouts, you'll keep getting those little arrows here again as well, and so on and so forth. So when it does finally pull back, yeah, the 535 oscillator backs you up, uh, it pulls back into a pullback zone, um, you will be able to see an even more higher probability because you'll have another uh, set of measurements that it's got to tick in the box before you're going to go on to that particular type of trade. I'm just trying to think IGT, I got out of this one just in time. Was that right? That's not right. I'm not gonna say that's not right. That took a while. I know the chart very well. <laughs> uh, Cause I've traded it, almost hit the target guys, but this sell off, I had my trading stop just down here and it took my, took my profits um, because that was a big sell off. There could be another opportunity to go in. But what I wanted to show you was, you'll get these false breakouts here, pulls back down, you'll get the false breakouts again, then it pulls back into the oversold zone, the wave four find support, the five, 535 oscillators there, and all of those things together 
develops an even more, an even stronger strategy. But that will come in the second quarter, and you'll get those free updates. You've bought the lifetime license, and whenever I do an update, uh, the emails will go out, and you will get the new version. Okay, so constantly working to to give you an even better probability. You can see here, look, false breakouts, pull back against false breakouts, oscillator pull back crown between 1940, wave four found support in the green zone, 85% probability, go long outside the 6-4 moving average high, boom, big sell off happened, good trade management, trailed your stock to have, uh, to protect profits, that's what happened, took my profits. Simple trades and it works every single time. Uh, and it works, it's the same on every single platform. We've got the same coding, the same wave counts. If I bring um, Think or Swim over now, for example, uh, let's move that one over there. Let's move Think or Swim down. So this is a trade I closed today. Oops. A uh, short on bitter. I closed BRFS, bitter, and bud today to take uh, between them three point, hang on, 3.2, 4.2, 4.6% on my account balance on three shorts, just like this. Um, but I'd lost a couple of longs today because they were just, they were just too weak. So the idea was to wipe out the losses, those 1% losses for those longs, and then overall net profit for these, these particular trades. So this isn't quite here yet, um, but I decided to take profit because it was close to the wave three. But again, very simple, got the high here. This is a TOS platform, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, orange, okay? We've got loads of false breakouts on this uh, stochastic at the bottom. Okay, all of this here, these are false breakouts. So that's a strong bearish trend. It pulls back against it. Okay, we get one, that's the first crossover in the overbought zone, two, three, and then down. And now it's just crossed over again. So this is why I got out as well. Um, but it works, it works very well. Target zone's there. Uh, I just decided to get out and take some more and take a load of profit. Um, it, again, you can see another small long trade here into the, uh, the target zone. Um, I've got to be careful pointing on this thing because it uh, does that. Anybody got anything else they want me to look at? Oh, my tea's gone. Anybody got any particular questions on the Think or Swim version, in fact? Again, I'm here for you guys. You guys are users. I know there might be some guys coming for demonstration and wanting the discount, and I'm going to do that in a minute. Well, I will only ask once, though. Uh, but the, the guys, you know, you're the users. It's my strategy. If I'm the trader, I've been I'm trading this strategy for over a decade now. I know it works, but if it's new to you guys, you've got to ask me the questions. If you want guide, guidance and help, these monthly webinars are here for you. I want this to work for you. I want you to be my sales force. When I launch the affiliate area, you may only know two or three people that this may work for, but you can tell them you'll get the 25% commission and more people will use it. So please, if, got, if you haven't got any more questions, that's fine. Um, is there anybody that is here for the demonstration that wants uh, the 20% the discount on the lifetime license? Okay. Grant, yes, the webinar will be in the blog on wave5trade.com and also in the, um, the members area for the scanner membership. So it'll be in both, okay? Uh, it'll be sometime tomorrow when I do it because I have to, it records the clouds and I have to get it down and do all the other stuff. Um, so I'm, this is, 
So no, there's a 20% discount for those attending uh, if they haven't got the license already. Just, and if you, if you haven't got time now, just email me and we'll get it sorted out. Okay guys, unless there's no other questions right now, I'm going to close it up because we're at 8.30 p.m. my time. It's been a long trading day for me. Thank you, Guido. Just want to check on those futures. That's holding steady. That is a really, really good news. That's hopefully can hold tomorrow as well. Okay, no more questions, guys. Hopefully, it's been of help. And if you've got any questions, Paul, at wait for. Oh, I've got questions in the Q and A. Sorry. You needed to use the chat. Thanks, Greg. Sorry. I didn't see the questions. I thought people would be using the chat, but they use the questions. So I do apologize, Chris, but I did go through um, ES chart and quickly on bonds. Uh, thanks, Greg. I hope you found it informative. Okay, any more questions? And I do apologize for not uh, seeing those Q&A ones because um, I just rely on the chat, to be honest. No problem, Al. Always a pleasure. So I'll see you in March. Have a great trading month. If you've got any burning questions, I will try and answer them by email. I am really busy with a trade room, an inner circle of traders, my trading buddy pro and way five trade. So uh, I will, I will answer emails. I just, it won't be instant. Okay, guys, I'm going to close it down. Thanks very much. And see you next month. Cheers. Bye.